Hello, welcome to this session. I'm Richard Paul and I'm joined by the lovely Jenny. And today we're doing the round robin routine. So what that means is we're going to do some whole body exercises, focus on all the major muscle groups, 12 repetitions, good to go. So from today we're looking to train more muscular endurance, muscular strength, muscular toning, and also raising up that heart rate as well. So fantastic session. I'm really excited. Jenny, you ready? Are you ready at home? Of course you are. Here we go. Starting on the spot. Jog nice and easy into the warm up. That's it. So, because of the nature of this workout, because we're going to focus on all the major muscle groups, it's really important that we also focus on them during the warm up. So they're nice and ready to go for the later demands of the exercises. That's it. Big breath in. Breathe out. Big breath in, breathe out. Excellent. Just slowly starting to raise up that pulse, getting blood to the muscles, also loosening up the joints. Fantastic. Just a few more. Okay. And let's rest down. We're going to go stepping towards the side, just taking a nice big step, starting to really warm up the inner muscles of the thigh, also the outer muscles. So we're ready to go get them firing up, nice and loose. Excellent. So if you do find during this workout, it does get a little bit tough, just back off a little bit. Maybe don't do as many reps, just sit out. It's really important you just work at your own pace. We don't want to do too much too soon. And if maybe you might find it might be a little bit too easy, that's also fine. Maybe just increase the reps a little bit, or make the exercise just a little bit harder, as we'll see. Excellent. So, from here, continue doing the step. All we're going to do is kick the heel towards the same glute. So we really start to warm up those hamstrings and also stretch out those quads. Here we go. In two, one. Let's go. So, up and up, up and up. That's it. So, like I said, you should feel a little bit of a contraction on the back of the leg, a little bit of a stretch out also of the quads. Excellent. Keep that breathing going as well. Really important. Oxygen is your friend. Your muscles need it. Your brain needs it. Make sure, let's make sure it gets it. Big breath in. And breathe out. Excellent. And again. Fantastic. Okay. Now we're going to incorporate some arms. All we're going to do is scissors. So every time we step over, we're going to cross over the arms and make them nice and wide when we step out to the side. Just like this. So it's going to be inside, out, inside, that's it. Making sure we alternate each time the arm which goes across the top in each repetition. That's it. Here we go. So when doing this, we're just lightly opening up the chest, also the back as well. Just get a nice big, slowly increased range of motion. So the shoulder joint's nice and ready for what we're going to do on it in a second. Keep that breathing going. How are you doing, Jenny? Good. Good, fantastic. How are you doing at home? Should feel your heart rate coming up a little bit now. Muscles getting a little bit warm. Pulse coming up. That's good. Just a few more. Excellent. Two, and okay. Now we're just gonna march on the spot. Nice and easy initially. Big breath, just get that breath back a little bit. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the arms a bit more into play. Just like you're running. Knees up a little bit higher as well. Getting a bit more hip flexion. Really working those big, powerful hip flexes. That's it. Excellent. Just a few more. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do half tempo marching. This time we're going to introduce a twist in the torso. So it's going to be twist, twist, twist. That's it. So really just start to gently mobilize that spine, making sure the head also follows with the torso. That's it. A lot of times we're sat down the whole day for not moving very much. If you sat at your desk or been sitting down an awful lot, it's very 
common for that spine to start to tense up. Getting a nice bit of rotation. Feels real great. Excellent. Just a few more. Okay, and relax. Shake it off a second. Excellent. So, now what we're going to do is just a few squats. Now, squats are a great low body, whole leg exercise, and we're also going to do them in our routine. So, it's real important that we get nice and warm, nice and prepared for what's about to come. So, feet shoulder width apart. All we're going to do is lead with the hips, keeping the back nice and straight. Go down so there's a 90 degree angle in the knees, and just come straight back up. Here we go. Down, two, three, and one. And down, two, three, and two. Really important to make sure the knees don't come over the toes. Two, three. If you want to use a gauge, what you can do is place the fists, the hands together under the chin, just bend down, and when the knees touch the elbows, that's your limit as far as the range of motion that we're working in. You can go a little bit further if you like, but just for this, we're getting nice and warmed up. Don't want to go too far. Just making sure that back's nice and straight. Breathing in, breathing out. Excellent. Just a few more. And if you find, because the weight should be in the heels, if you find balance is a bit of an issue, what you can do is just place the arms in front of you just to counteract that. Nice and easy. Excellent. Here we go. Doing great. You should really feel it in the thighs now and in the glutes. Fantastic. Last few. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Last one. Breathing in. And come up, shake it off. Excellent. So we're just going to finish on a little bit of mobility now. Just do what's called some leg circumduction. Looks like this. So all we're going to do is bring the knee in to out. Three steps. Three. Other leg, out, one, two, three, and out, two, three, here we go, two, three, that's it. So start off nice and easy, just getting a gentle range of motion, you should really feel a slight pull on all those inner thigh, outer thigh muscles as well. Really great for increasing hip mobility. Excellent. Two, and rotate, two. Just a few more. Fantastic. Okay, now same thing, going the other way. So bring it out to in. And three steps, three, and out to in. Two, three. So really rotating. You don't want to be moving the hips too much here. It's all just the thighs, the legs, getting that knee right out and over. Feeling that slight stretch. That's it. Just a few more. Three. Two, three. Oh, yeah. Feels real good. Give that nice stretch. Okay, and stop right there. Excellent. Now just with the arms, same thing. Arm circumduction, just rotate those arms around the shoulders. Nice and easy, not flailing about crazily, not doing it too hard. Just nice, easy range of motion. Fantastic. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. And the other way. That's it. Excellent. Just a few more to go. And breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, and shake it off. Excellent. So that's the warm-up done. You should feel your heart rate's up a little bit. Also a little bit warmer as well. Blood towards the muscles. So we're ready to go. First exercise is going to be power squats. So, all we're going to do is place the legs a bit further than hip width apart, feet slightly pointing towards the outside, and from here, we're just going to squat down, hips going backwards, just to the point where you feel also the knees going the same direction as the toes. And so, breathing in, two, three, and breathe out. Breathing in, two, three, breathe out. As to just going to that 90 degree angle again, and breathing out. Okay? Okay, Jenny? Here we go. 12 repetitions. If you have some dumbbells at home, if you feel this is a little bit too easy, don't be afraid to grab the dumbbells. We're just going to stick to body weight. 12 repetitions. Here we go. And one. That's it. Arms start to this side. Breathing in. And breathe out. Two. So what this does with this wider stance, 
is because of the nature of the position, we're actually engaging a lot more what's called the adductors, so the inside thigh muscles. As opposed to if the leg is a lot more narrow, it's a lot more focused on the quads. So you're getting a lot more of a whole leg workout, also really good for range of motion and flexibility as well. Jenny's doing great. You're doing great at home as well, keep going. Just a few more to go. Breathing in, breathing out. Really important that knee goes the same direction as the toes as well. Just protect that knee joint. Three more to go, Jenny, you're doing great. In and two more at home, nearly there. And last one. Excellent, great job. Take a big deep breath, well done. Go on to the next exercise now, an upper body exercise. Going to the floor, it's called staggered push-ups. So, all we're gonna do is, starting in the normal push-up position with the hands beneath the shoulders, we're just gonna take one hand, so this one, the left hand, put it out at nine o'clock, wider of the body, and from here, we're just gonna go down to three and push up one. Change sides and down to two, three, breathe out, two. Back to the other side, breathe in, two, three, three, and to the other side, and two, two, three, and push up. Okay, and rest there. So if you do find this a little bit too tough, what you can do is go onto the knees. Really important, you make sure that back is nice and straight. We don't want the glutes sticking in the air. We need to make sure we tense those glutes, tense the abs, protecting the lower back. You ready? You ready, Jenny? Yeah. So Jenny's gonna do them on the knees. Here we go. When we're ready, put the hand out. 12, let's go for it. And one, excellent, change sides. And two, breathing in, breathe out. And breathe in, breathe out. Excellent, Jenny. So, Jenny's doing a real great job. What this does here with the hand going out to the side is it focuses more so on the pec muscle. The closer the arms are to the center, the more it focuses on the tricep. So here we're getting a great overall upper body workout with the pushing motion. Great job, Jenny, keep going. Just a few more, breathing in. She's working real hard. I can tell you guys working real hard at home. Keep going, last one. And fantastic, and rest. Awesome. So now we're gonna go into another exercise. Could we just work the chest? We're not gonna work the back. Some muscles which often get overlooked. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna use some dumbbells. If you have some dumbbells, that's great. If you don't, you can also do it with body weight. You can also do it with an exercise band as well. So just do it to your particular level. And what we're gonna do now is a wide grip bent over row. So from here, we're just gonna go down into a semi-squat. Chest comes forward, make sure we keep the back nice and straight, nice neutral spine, shoulders back. And from here, we're just gonna raise the elbows right out to the side, doing a nice contraction on the upper back. And again, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathing out, and breathing in. Okay, let's get into position. Here we go, Jenny. So, when we're ready, three, two, one, let's go. So just lean forward a little bit more, so you really get, you wanna try and aim for your chest to be not too far from parallel to the floor. So if you just lean forward a little bit more, there you go, that's it. Elbows nice and high, really important, make that that's it. So we really get a great contraction on the upper back. Doing real well. So like I say, this works actually not just great as a back exercise, but also what it does, it works on those muscles which are really important for postural correctness, working on those what's called rhomboids and middle traps as well, for retracting the shoulder girdle. Doing really great. Just a couple more. One more. And relax. Excellent. Great job, Jenny. Excellent. So we're just gonna hold, keep hold of one of the dumbbells, or at home if you have a resistance band, that's fine as well. We're gonna do what's called a standing tricep extension. So from here, you're gonna place the right foot behind in the back, left foot a little bit forward. You're gonna have the elbows close to the head. I'm holding the dumbbell, we're just gonna extend the arms up into the air. Keeping those elbows at the same position the whole time. Two, two, three, and breathe out. Three, two, three, okay. Okay, Jenny, mm -hmm. she's already into it. <laughs> Excellent, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. And one, Excellent. Two. Keeping those elbows nice and still close to the head so we really isolate those triceps. Fantastic. Really important here as well, make sure we really tense the abs so that's so we haven't got too much of an arch in the lower back, just protect, protecting that spine and that lower back. Just a few more to go. Doing really well, breathing in, breathing out on the extension, breathing on the way down. Fantastic, just doing really well. And great job at home as well, nearly there, just a few more. Should feel those triceps starting to burn a little bit. 
X. Just three more. Keep going. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more. Nearly there. One. And last one. Great job, Jenny. And great job at home as well. Doing great. So, now we just work those triceps. We're going to flip around, go towards the biceps, plus also the shoulder in a great combination exercise. So this is the bicep curl to overhead press. Feet about shoulder width apart, knees soft, nice slight bend. And from here, we're just going to pull up towards the shoulders and extend up above the head with a slight rotation as well, bringing back to the bicep curl and down. Those two exercises, pull up the shoulder, up above the head, back to the shoulder and down. Again, make sure those knees are nice and soft, tense in the abs, we don't have an arch in the lower back. Good to go. Ready, Jenny? Let's do it. Here we go, that's it. So, she's in a great position, that's it. Tense in the abs so the back isn't arching too much. Extending over, that's it, and down. Excellent, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out, fantastic. And breathing in, breathing out, nice, slow and controlled, breathing in, and breathing out. Doing great, keeping those shoulders back the whole time. Really important, keep those elbows into the side, they don't move about, so you really focus on working that bicep. Doing great, Jenny. Excellent, and breathing in, breathing out, fantastic. Just nearly there. Excellent. And again, with all standing exercises, whether you do them with resistance bands or with dumbbells, really important we get that slight bend in the knees and also make sure we really contract those abs so we're protect protecting that spine so we haven't got too much arch in the lower back. Again, you don't want to be contracting too much so that it's curving, but just you've got that nice neutral spine. Doing great. Just two more to go, Jenny. Breathing in, breathing out. Last one, in out. Last one, you got it. And relax. Fantastic. So now we're halfway through the routine. Doing really well. So far we've worked all the major muscle groups as well. And now we're just going to do some more exercises which work them in a slightly different way just to get the whole muscular toning. So, next exercise, because Jenny loves them so much, she's going to demonstrate them. It's a one-legged squat. So, all we're going to do is get onto the right leg. From here we're just going to keep our balance lean over, that's it, keeping the back nice and straight, leg parallel with the upper body, and from here we're just going to extend up into extension of the knee, that's it, and back down again, and two, that's it, keep going, and three, just one more, and four, and rest, great job. So we're going to do 12 on each side, it's really important because this exercise does require a little bit of balance and stability. So if you want to start off just with a chair next to you or going close to a mantelpiece or a table, that's absolutely fine just to make sure you can get your balance so we don't hurt ourselves. You ready? You ready, Jenny? Yeah. Let's do it. So, into position on the right leg first of all. We're going to bend right over. You want that chest quite close to parallel to the floor. That's it. And let's extend the knee. That's it. Excellent. And two. Just use those arms as well on the side just to maintain that balance. So like I say, this does use and require quite a lot of balance. So here the strength gains aren't necessarily that high. However, it's compensated by the fact of using all those stabilized muscles. You may find you may be shaking a little bit. That's absolutely normal. So we're really taxing those coordinative and also balanced muscles. Jane's doing real great. Just one more and relax. Fantastic. Same thing on the other side. Here we go, straight, in, straight into it. We don't need to rest because obviously we're just working one side at a time. Here we go. Just find a moment to get that balance. And when we're ready, let's rock and roll. One, excellent. And two, remember, keep that breathing going. I know you're focusing on a lot of different things. Make sure you keep breathing, so important. And breathing in, breathing out, that's it. Just go as far as you can into the squat so you're working as a full range of motion as possible. Doing really well. Keep that back nice and straight. Leg up as well, just one more to go. And relax, great job, Jenny. And great job at home as well. That's a tough one for balance and coordination. So, going on to the next one, back to an upper body exercise. We're gonna to go to the floor. I'm gonna do the tripod. Now, it's called the tripod because of the position we're in. All we're gonna do is go up into a push-up position, hands just beneath the shoulders, make sure those glutes are tensed and also those abs. And from there, we're just gonna start with one leg up. We're gonna hold 20 seconds, okay? After 20 seconds, we're gonna switch legs and just brace. You ready? You ready, Jenny? Yeah. Let's go. 20 seconds. 
So main thing here is that's it. So just from there, awesome. Like I said, make sure we tense those glutes, make sure those hips coming forward. So we're really engaging those ab muscles, not the hip flexors. So we're protecting that back. Excellent, Jenny. Now, this is what's called an isometric contraction. Because we're holding and staying still, it's very tempting just to hold our breath. Make sure you keep breathing. Great job, Jenny. Two, one, and let's change sides straight away. Excellent, great job. So with this as well, you will feel it also a little bit in the glutes because there's a slight hip extension as well. That's absolutely normal, obviously. Just make sure that your shoulders are right over your wrists. Fantastic, keep that breathing going. So tempting to hold the breath. Don't hold that breath, make sure you keep breathing. A few more seconds, two, one, and relax. Great job, great job at home as well. Just take a moment just to get your breath back. That was a whole body contraction. A couple of breaths, breathe in, and breathe out. And breathe in, and breathe out. Excellent. So, on to the next exercise. It's one of my all-time favorites, the bent over reverse fly. So, we're gonna grab our dumbbells. All we're gonna do, legs shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, hips come back, keeping that nice neutral spine. Again, we're gonna get that chest towards parallel to the floor. Arms down, soft elbows, so a slight bend in the elbows. Shoulders back, and we're gonna just reverse fly, and two, two, three, two, two, three, and three, two, three, okay? So again, great upper back exercise, working all those muscles which really we do need to work to focus on maintaining good posture and good muscular balance, all around great exercise. Are you ready? Jenny, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so keeping that back nice and straight, pulling the shoulders, that's it, that's better. Okay, excellent. Here we go, so one, that's it, two, two, three, and two. Again, make sure you keep breathing, breathing in and breathing out. Three, breathe in and breathe out. Four, that's it, you should feel a lovely contraction just right at the top of the shoulders. Five, keeping those elbows nice and soft so we're not bringing any strain through them. Great job, excellent, Jenny. And breathing in, breathing out, she's doing really well. A few more to go at home. You should really feel that contraction of that burn at the top of the back. Two more to go, You're doing really well. Keep that breathing going. Two, last one, and one, and relax, relax, Jenny. Excellent, how'd you feel? Good. Yeah, did you feel that burn Love. at the top? <laughs> exactly, excellent, fantastic. So, next exercise we're gonna do, now for this, it's what's called tricep dips. So, I, what we're gonna do is if you have a chair around or at the edge of a sofa, we're gonna use that for this exercise. So, Jenny, if you'd like to grab a chair, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so, so using a chair, all we're gonna do is place the palms of the hands in this position. We're gonna take a step off this way. And from here, we're just gonna lower down, keeping the shoulders back, and extend. Two, two, three, and three. So just make sure when we do that extension, we don't lock out the elbows. We wanna make sure we protect the elbow joint. Four, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, good job, into position, let's go. That's it, so, yeah, when we're ready at home, get ready Jenny, Yeah. let's go, and one. So with this, really make sure you keep the elbows nice and straight behind you, so really focusing on that tricep, back of the arm area. Now, because of this range of motion, just make sure that you don't go down too low, placing too much strain on the shoulder. Just go where it feels comfortable, working in that range of motion. Excellent, Jenny. Breathing in, breathing out. She's doing really well. We will start to feel it now on the back of the arms. Fantastic. And if you do find this is a little bit too easy, just extend the legs a little bit further out. Really focus on those triceps. Just two more to go. Doing really well. And fantastic. And rest. Excellent. Great job. Great job, Jenny. Let's get rid of those chairs. Uh, okay. Doing really well. Coming up now towards the last exercise. We're gonna focus on an isolation exercise, the biceps. So, we're gonna grab the dumbbells. This is the isolated bicep curl with the twist. So all we're gonna do is starting from a neutral grip, we're gonna raise up the dumbbell and twist towards the outside from in. Two, two, three, and twist. Two, two, three. Make sure we keep the shoulders back the whole time. Two, Three, elbow in, elbow doesn't move. It's just the forearm. And that's it, excellent. 
excellent. Okay. Obviously, make sure as well we have those soft knees, tensing the abs, so the back's nice and straight. Here we go. 12 repetitions on each side. That's it. So again, testing those abs, making sure we're just sitting into it, protecting the knees, protecting the lower back. Breathe out, that's it. Breathe in, breathe out. Excellent. So the great thing about this exercise is because the bicep, as we know, works doing this action, but also the bicep also works in a twisting action as well. So when doing this exercise, we're really working the bicep in its complete range of motion, getting the most we can out of the contraction. Excellent. Breathing in and breathing out. Doing really well. Keep that breathing going. Excellent. Doing great. So if you do find this exercise is a little bit too easy, don't be afraid to grab an exercise band, place it under the feet, and just pull that way. Obviously, just work it in towards your own range of motion, your own limits, so we get that training stimulus. Great job. Just a couple more each side. Keep that breathing going. This is the last exercise, home stretch, and last one. Ah, fantastic. And lower it down. Great job, Jenny. And great job at home as well. That's the main part of the round robin routine. You guys have done great. So, before we get into the cool down, we're going to do a little bit of core. So, here we go. Onto the floor. Now, for this, it would help if you have some softer area, either like a mat. If not, what you can do is just do it on a carpet or some surface which isn't too hard. It really help out. So we're going to go down into full sit-ups. We're going to have the feet on the floor. We're going to slowly lie back with the hands to the side. We're just going to rotate up, breathe out, and slowly come down. Two, and breathe up, and slowly come down. Excellent. And three, and four. Okay, if you find this exercise a little bit too easy, you can do the exact same thing, just with the feet off the floor. Okay? Jenny, you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Into position. Here we go. So we're gonna bring the feet just a little bit closer back. That's it, fantastic. That's great. Two, just back, that's it. And two. So with this, with all abs exercises, it's really important we make sure the back is nice and flat. We don't want the back arching. That triggers what's called the hip flexors. We're not looking for that. We're looking to work the abs and to protect the lower back. Breathing in, breathing out. That's it. Great job. So this is quite an explosive exercise, which means we're getting that real contraction going. Not necessarily working the core muscles. This is really focused on the ab muscles, on the exterior muscles, which is also great because what happens is a lot of the times during the day, a lot of our ab movements are very explosive. It is important also to work the core, which we'll do later on. But this is great for functional fitness. Excellent. Just two more. Two. Three, and last one. Fantastic. And lower it down. Excellent. Take a breath. You should feel those abs right now. So, going into the next exercise, we just worked the front. Now we're going to work the sides, what's called the obliques. So, we're going to do the following. Lying down, arms out to the side, legs up into this position. We're going to do the lying abs twist. So, from here we're just going to roll to the left, nice and slow and controlled, and come up, and same to the right, two, three, and come up. Again, breathing in, two, three, and up, and two, two, three, and up. So, really important here, the arms are out to the side, but they're not actually supporting. All the work is coming from the sides, from the obliques, and also to a degree, the abs. Into position, here we go, Jenny. So, nice and slow. That's it, so nice, that's it, just that, in that position. Excellent, doing great. So what we've got on going here is a twist of the spine, so it's really important we move nice, slowly, and controlled. We don't want to cause any damage to that area, so really make it a nice, slow, steady contraction. Actually, just bring the knees up a little bit more. There you go, that's it, and keep going, great. So if this exercise is a little bit too easy, what you can do is do the same thing, but with the legs straight up into the air, because that'll increase the load, it'll increase the leverage of the angle that's working. We really add a bit more to the exercise. Doing real great, Jenny, keep going. Keep that breathing going as well. I want to hear you breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just a few more to go. Excellent, and last one. 
Fantastic, excellent, and rest there. So, coming into the last abs core exercise, real great exercise, it's called the plank cubed. Here we go, so, all we're gonna do is onto our mat, elbows beneath the shoulders, and from here we're just gonna raise up into the plank position, making sure we tuck those hips under, tensing the glutes, also tensing those abs. We're gonna hold for 20 seconds in this position, then 20 seconds with the left leg up, 20 seconds with the right leg up, and then 20 seconds with a wide stance, always making sure we're tensing those glutes, keeping that spine nice and neutral. Okay, excellent. Into position, into position, Jenny. Here we go, last abs exercise. Three, two, one, let's go. So 20 seconds. Excellent, just make sure those elbows are right under the shoulder. Really important we keep that breathing going. Again, this is an isometric, so we're contracting, but we're not moving. Very tempting to stop breathing, we don't want that. Big breath in through the nose, and breathe out. Just a few more seconds, then we're gonna lift that left leg. Two, one, here we go, left leg in the air. Okay. Excellent, so even though we're making the exercise now a little bit more challenging, we wanna make sure we do not compromise the technique. So make sure those glutes are nicely tucked under, really bracing those abs, feeling those. Excellent, just doing really well. And you're doing really well at home as well. Keep going, nearly there, two, one. Let's raise the other leg, here we go. Excellent, keep that breathing going. Two, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Guys, nearly there, just this is the last exercise we've got before the cool down. Done so well, just a little bit more to go. And two, two, one, and last one, Jenny. So legs nice and wide, last one at home. Excellent, just get those in. And you'll feel that for putting the legs nice and wide, you feel it'll work in a whole new different way. We're incorporating a lot more muscles in the lower core, things like adductors, abductors. Makes it a lot more tougher. Great job, just a few more to go. A few more seconds, hold. Keep that pelvis forward, two, one, and relax. Great job, how are you feeling, Jenny? <laughs> Tired. Tired, yeah, full yeah. body workout. <laughs> I bet you guys are feeling a little bit out of breath as well. Done really well. All we're gonna do now is go into the cool down. Really important, because we worked all the major muscle groups. Make sure we stretch that nicely, just so we don't feel any pain or discomfort over the next few days. So, the first one, since we're on the floor, we're just gonna go into seated, quad stretch. So all we're gonna do is place the left leg up behind the glute. I'm gonna put the right foot forward. I'm just gonna come back onto the elbow. I'm just gonna hold that position, okay? So for this, really important to make sure the foot is right up behind the glute. What we don't want is for the leg to come out to the side. So that's putting strain on the inside of the knee. Really make sure it's nice and aligned with the foot pointed onto the elbow and just hold that position. If you're not so flexible, you can just get up onto the hand, decreasing the stretch. And a couple of breaths. And breathe out. And one more. And breathe out. Brilliant, let's change sides nice and slowly. Whenever we're stretching, we don't want to do anything explosive. Everything is nice and controlled. Okay, here we go onto the elbow and stretch. So you should feel a nice stretch going right down the quad muscle. That's the reason why I love the stretch so, so much is because it can be quite tough to stretch the quads, especially if you're quite inflexible in that area. With this one, you get a lovely focused stretch going all the way down, and it's also very manageable as well. You can either obviously on the elbow, or you can stand up onto the hand. Fits all sorts. Excellent, big breath in. And breathe out. And a big breath in. And breathe out. And let's slowly come up. Bring the foot around. Okay, and all we're gonna do is go onto the hands. Now we're gonna go into an inverted V. Here we go. Keeping that back nice and straight. We're gonna lift one leg and we're just gonna place it behind the other leg and push through the heel towards the floor. You should feel a lovely stretch on the lower part of the back of the leg, on the calf muscle. That's it. Big breath in. And breathe out. And one more time, big breath in. And 
and breathe out and slowly change sides and again so just go to your range of motion if you feel it's a little bit too tight then lift the heel off the floor if you feel you can go a little bit further then by all means place that heel right towards the floor and to really increase the stretch what you can do is just walk the hands back a little bit really increasing that angle of stretch on the back of the leg big breath in and breathe out Big breath in, and breathe out, excellent, and let's slowly come up, nice and easy, shake it off, okay, brilliant, so now what we're going to do, because we've stretched the lower part of the back of the leg, now we're going to focus on the upper part of the back of the leg, so all we're going to do is place one foot behind the other one, so left foot forward in this case, we're going to bend the back knee, placing the hands on the right thigh. And from here, we're gonna lean forward with a nice flat back and push through the stretch. Now with this, you wanna feel the glutes coming back and we should feel the stretch right up here on the back of the thigh. Excellent. Now what a lot of people do, and it's also fine to do, is they'll lift the foot up and stretch that way. Now that is fine, but the problem is what, what that triggers is more so the lower part of the leg. We just did that, now we're focusing on the upper part of the posterior of the leg. Big breath in. And breathe out. Last one. Big breath in. And breathe out. And let's slowly come up. Just change sides. Excellent. And just hold that stretch. And again, if you really want to increase the stretch, I'm just going to bend that back knee a little bit more with the glutes coming out. Make sure that when we're bending that back knee, the knee is going the same direction as the toes. Again, so we're not placing any undue pressure around the knee joint. That's it. Just relax. And big breath in. And breathe out. Here as well, make sure your neck is nice and straight. Really important, the neck is also part of the spine. We don't want to be arching the neck too much. Just keep it nice and in line. One more breath, and breathe out, and let's slowly come up, excellent, just give it a quick shake off, last stretch, Doing really well, here we go, arms behind the back, we're going to do a nice pec stretch, so just placing the fist towards the floor, bringing the chest forward, not too much arch in the lower back, just enough so you feel that stretch across the chest, here we go. And again, here with your breathing, when you breathe in, you will feel more of a stretch across the chest. So really important to take a big, deep breath. And breathe out. And last one. And breathe out. And let's bring the arms down nice and slow. Fantastic. Great job. You've done the whole round robin routine. With all the major muscle groups, I'm extremely proud of you guys. Well done, Jenny. Well done to you, and I'll see you next time on Fit Yes.